to the very first sixth grade band concert of the year. Welcome, welcome, welcome. They're already correcting me. Welcome. Uh, this is actually two bands put together. They rehearsed separately, the Explorers and the Discovery Bands. So this is the very first time they've actually played together as a group. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Feel free to be nervous yourself, as long as they're not nervous. That's okay. Uh, and in fact, this is half the sixth graders in band. There's another two bands that are playing uh, later tonight at 7.30. Our first piece, Stratford Fair, is kind of written in the style of an old English dance. There's uh, the beginning and the end were in three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you can kind of get that waltz feeling. The middle section was more of a march. It's in two, one, two, one, two. So we learned about changing time signatures in the middle of pieces and things like that. Our next piece um, is written by a composer named Larry Dan. Uh, he's actually a Wisconsinite, local uh, Midwesterner. He writes great music. Wonderful music, and some of it is appropriate for kids this age in terms of the technical abilities that it asks them to use. And we have that piece here. It's a little bit tough. While I watch the Yellow Beat is based on a poem, and it asks them to use a lot of uh, difficult rhythms, but also to make to come off as a really beautiful piece of music. You have to play it as if you were singing it in a sentence or a phrase. And if there's one word they've heard me preach to them for the last few weeks, nine weeks, ten weeks, it's all about phrasing. That's what's going to make this piece what it is. It's slow, not everybody's most favorite piece to perform or play, but definitely worth it. And uh, we'll see how this goes, but at the end, if it comes off great, we can say, yes, we have accomplished something that not even a lot of mature bands, in junior highs, even high school bands, uh, are able to to reach out to now all that beautiful praising. So we're gonna give it a try with while I watch the yellow beat. <laughs> Thank you. 
just to share a little bit of, about the programming in sixth grade, what it's all about, because this is new for a lot of you. Actually, what I should ask is how many people here have had older children go through our band program before? Go ahead and raise your hands nice and high. There's plenty of you. Good. So the people who don't have their hands up, you can ask them all the questions you want. <laughs> I didn't pay them, so they'll tell you the truth. Um, you may have discovered that it makes a big difference whether your child comes to lessons or not. Not only because of the way they play, but for their grade. As a teacher, it's my job to stand here and tell you, please make sure they're coming to the lessons. I can't come and get them, but if you can find ways to help them remember, that would be awesome. Because that's where most of the learning actually happens. We're a very fortunate school district in the sense that we're able to offer lessons on a pretty frequent basis in very small groups. You won't have to drive very far to the southeast in a city with two names and lots of water <laughs> to see a school district that offers lessons with groups no smaller than 10, probably up to 15 or 20. And we don't have any lessons with any more than It refers to uh, an ancient uh, culture in the four corners in the southwest United States we would also perhaps call them the Pueblo Indians. Uh, kind of a mystique around that culture, which we don't know a ton about, some. So that mood, the mystical mood, is captured in this piece of music. We were very hard on dynamics, dynamics. for this piece.
It's like I'm going into the 